and welcome to my week 33 post-op RNY gastric bypass update. My surgery took place on March the 2nd, 2018 at the Guelph General Hospital here in Ontario, Canada. My surgeon's name was Dr. Natasha Pereira Hong. My highest weight was 392 pounds and my surgery weight was 317 pounds. And my current weight, you'll have to wait to find out later on in this video. This week, it was a slow week. I didn't really do much, but it was still, it was still pretty good. Um, I've got no complaints. Oh, hello, collarbones. Look at that. I'm not even flexing either. That's amazing. <laughs> um, but anyways, on Thursday, me and my daughter went to see A Star is Born. So we're here at the movies. We are watching A Star is Born. Finally, Halloween comes out tonight. Supposedly tomorrow, but it's out tonight here. So yeah, you probably can't see us, but just... Nachos. Nachos. have chili on them. Yes. Protein. <laughs> and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully it's a good movie. And it was a really, really good movie. I was perfectly fine throughout the whole movie until she started crying. And then I had to punch her because then the tears started flowing for me too. It didn't bother me or affect me until she started. I don't know why. It hurts me to see her cry. It was like, I don't know. I don't really cry during movies, but it got me. And I'm eating my breakfast right now. It's just a... Oh, it goes... Triple zero peach. Mm. So good. And we're supposed to go to the movies either tonight or sometime this week. I'm not sure. It's, it's all on her, whatever she decides. And we're looking to see Halloween. So yeah, that'll be something fun to look forward to whenever that happens. So we're out to dinner right now. We're going we're at Kelsey's right now. And we got our first appetizer, which is a spinach and cheese dip. Um, we're going to go see Halloween after this. So, <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting for our main course to come. It's just buffed up chicken potato skin. Of course, I'll be sharing mine. She got the Caesar chicken Caesar wrap. Side of sweet potatoes and my favorite sauce. Yum. And we still got the spinach dip. But yeah, this is dinner. <laughs> so this is dessert. It's actually ice cream on top of a butter tart. You can't really see it because of how much ice cream there is. Yeah. But it's there. Yum. Looks good. I think it's warm too. Yeah, it is warm. The butter tart is really warm. Really? Yum. I've never had a warm butter tart. They give you forks to eat your ice cream. Instead of spoons. <laughs> We're gonna see Halloween tonight. Right over there. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm surprised she's actually coming with me. Could you imagine 40 years later we would still be here for this film and they would have lived this long? No, no one did. We made a movie in 17 days for $300,000. It was amazing. We are here to see Halloween. In the exact same spots we were in last week yep. when we were seeing A Star is Born. <laughs> Same theater and everything, right? Yep, same exact seats. Too. Wow. They they alternate theaters? Yeah, movies too. It, Star is Born is still playing though, right? Yeah. Oh. Just not in this theater. That's weird. But yeah, hopefully it's good. I really, really hope so. Because I've been looking forward to a scary movie for a very long time. And it's very dark. <laughs> <gasps> Yay. We just got um here from eating dinner we are so full oh my gosh she has like half of our meal yeah, in her purse I have, like, two huge takeout containers plus like a small one of our dessert. yeah <laughs> um, anyways let's just get right into my weigh-in for this week at week 33 post-op Two 
221.2. So as you see, the scale moved again. Like, I am so surprised because my eating hasn't been, you know, that strict at all this past week. And But anyways, I have lost 3.6 pounds this week. And that is a total of 95.8 pounds since surgery. That's a total of 170.8 pounds for my highest weight. 170 pounds. That's crazy. Will I ever hit the 200 mark? I don't know. But I'm only, I'm less than five pounds away from my 100 pound loss since surgery. So yeah, I, I say things are going pretty damn good. <laughs> to give you an idea of where I was at at my highest, my BMI used to be 63.2. That was my BMI at my highest weight. It is now 35.7. In order to become a healthy, normal range weight, I still need to lose 66.3 pounds. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think maybe if I'm lucky, I'll lose another 30, but I really don't think I'm gonna lose, like be down to the 150s. That's just not happening. I can never picture myself being that small. I think my stopping point is gonna be 180, honestly. We'll see. Hopefully I even get there. <laughs> but my, my actual goal is 199 and I'm only 20, like 22 pounds away from that. That is ridiculous to think about. 22 pounds. That's insane to me. I'm so, so, so grateful and happy for this journey. It's been the best. Anyways, let's get right into my belly shot for this week. Any change? Probably not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not sure when I'm gonna start pursuing skin removal surgery. I think I probably want to get down, like, till the weight stops coming off. You know, I want to be sure I'm at my final weight, and then start pursuing it. Then again, I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to because how am I gonna get to these appointments? I think the closest. Um, plastic surgeon to me is either in Scarborough or Toronto. I really don't know. I haven't done any research on it. Hello. How are you? Oh, hi, Benny. This is my Benny boy. <laughs> my puppies. Oh, my sweet puppies. I love you. <laughs> oh, my baby. But yeah. I really would like to get my stomach done at least. I know my arms are gonna, is going to be something I'm going to have to live with because I can't afford to do it. And I think here in Canada, they only cover the, I forget what it's called, penolectomy or something. I don't really know what it's called, but it's it's the, the removal of the apron. Oh, the stomach skin. So, yeah. I'll have to deal with my thighs and my arms for a bit. One of these days I gotta show you what my, my updated thighs look like. Maybe I'll do that like on at my eight month update. I'll do that monthly to show you the progression of my thighs and whatnot, what it looks like. Um, but yeah, hopefully by next summer they'll look a little bit better. I don't know, it might look even worse with more hanging skin. And now we have another one coming. You wanna come say hi too? Me? Uh, no. That was her saying hi. Hi! Hello, Bella. You good girl? <laughs> I love her. No! <laughs> 
You sweet girl. When you want to be, you're naughty though, aren't you? Again, I'm just going to keep this short. And I will hopefully have some more news or information later on during the week or on Monday, as always. I really don't have much to update you on this week. If I think about it, then I will make another video, I guess. But yeah, this, this week has been pretty low-key. Nothing much went on. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to finish my breakfast, and I'm going to get ready for my day, and I will see you all later. <laughs> Have a great week, all. Bye for now.